Hi everyone, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do a look in on the zodiac sign of Scorpio. Keep in mind that these are still general readings, take what applies, if it applies, kick to the curb the rest. Thank you for everybody who has liked, subscribed, and shared. Guys rock, thank you. And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all the info will be in the box below. So let's see what's going on with Scorpio. Well, Skip, Scorpio, you're dealing with some tough energy. Wow, let's get into it. At the bottom of the deck. <laughs> wow. Got the Seven of Swords. Here's your Thief card. Someone being sneaky. Yes, they take the material things, but they also take your thoughts, your hopes, your dreams, your ideas in your heart. This is somebody who likes to come in and stir up a bunch of BS and leave like it was never them. Like they had nothing to do with it. They also are people that can't be confronted. Don't want to be confronted. Somebody presents them, you know, an accusation or whatever. And they look for the exit. They look for the back door. This is somebody who leaves. You're hanging. You're high and dry. They take what they can, and then they're gone. Wow. Definitely tough energy, Scorpio. So let's get into this. So we're going to start with the Five of Swords. Now here's that hollow victory. You win a battle, you don't win a war. I call it the engaged well, induce to engage, actually. It's like somebody eggs you on. And they egg you on. So finally, you just, you snap. You pick up a sword, you start swinging it, and at this point, you don't hurt, you don't care if you hurt somebody. Because they should have never egged you on. And this card came in reverse. For a challenge. It's the hangman. Like, in the upright, this would be feeling stuck. In limbo. Not moving forward, not going backwards. But it's also seeing something in a different perspective. But this coming in the reverse, coming in this way, it's like you're trying to come out unstuck. Out of a state of limbo. Possibly, Scorpio, because you have enough. You've had enough. You've had enough of maybe trying to confront somebody about some... Sneaky behavior, maybe? And it looks like you had enough, Scorpio. Hmm. Because in your foundation, you got the Queen of Swords. Now, here's your air element of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or somebody who takes on these properties. King of Queen, don't matter. It's the energy. This is somebody being very analytical. Extremely intelligent. But emotions have nothing to do with this person's decisions. They mean what they say. They say what they mean. And when you engage with someone like this, it could be pretty hurtful because it's a, a battle of intellect. And again, somebody fires you up. <laughs> Nobody is thinking about their emotions. Especially her or him. Scorpio, I, I get the feeling that somebody is kind of do, doing something, whether you feel like, like it's behind your back, something on the down low, you just want the truth from this person. I think, you know, you're about at the end of your rope with dealing with the fights, the conflicts, being stuck in a relationship, being stuck in a job. Or maybe there's more than one. 
person doing sneaky things. Because what's crowning your whole reading here, Scorpio, is the Eight of Cups. Now, at one point, all those cups were stacked up nicely, filled. That guy's tasted from each one of them, and it doesn't cut it. So he goes off to the unknown to find something that's more fulfilling. So, Scorpio, I think that these conflicts, these arguments, you know, are draining you emotionally. And you're tired. You're tired of being in that wheel. You're tired of being stuck with this. And it's like, I could be stuck with it. Mm -mm. You're tired. Maybe somebody trying to elude you or avoid you or avoid the truth. Yeah. And Scorpio, it looks like that you just. Every battle just makes you more unavailable in the emotional department. Makes it easier for you to walk. Now, in your recent past, Scorps, you have the Knight of Pentacles. Now, Pentacles being of the Earth suit of Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, but more so, he's just a messenger. He's a messenger of Concrete, see, hear, taste, touch, prove things. Money, sure. But pentacles are the things that have value and worth to you, Scorps. So maybe in the recent past, you know, there was an opportunity of having money, valuable things, and maybe this is what the fight and the conflict is about. You've had it. Maybe the stealing of money? Scopes, are you in a relationship with somebody and you're confronting them and they're eluding you? And you're just like, peace out. Emotionally can't do it anymore. I think so. Going into your future, Scorpio, we have you, the Queen of Cups. Now, this is somebody who is very intuitive. They do wear their heart on their sleeve, but they are well balanced in their emotions. You would never know that they do. This is somebody who can speak fondly and fluently in matters of the heart. Now, this person is very opposite of this. Whether it's male, female, don't matter. One person is more analytical and doesn't think about the emotions. And one is all about the emotions. And I think this is where it's damaging you, Scorpio, that, you know, because you are, you know, more of tempering the emotions. And these fights are just draining you. And I don't think somebody who's not on an emotional level sees that. Over this. Now, Scorpio, how people see you in your environment. You see, it's a ten of swords. Now, you know what I always say about this card. I'm so done with you. Deuces. This is being backstabbed, lied, betrayed, cheated on. Ten swords to the back, I mean, that's serious. If you're battling about this, this is how this person makes you feel. Scorpio, you're at the end of a cycle, like I said, at the end of your rope. And when this crowns your whole reading, you're thinking, I got to go. And you're going to get yourself unstuck. Scorpio, you're truly 
not stuck in any situation. You always have choices. But people see you like this. So, Scorpio, it's like the people around you, friends, family, whatever, they see you feeling this. Like some sort of like a devastation, an exhaustion. Like you can't do it anymore. Hmm. Now, Scorpio, what's in your environment? You get the Eight of Pentacles. Now, here's the apprenticeship card. This kid is working on his skills, qualities, crafts, perhaps learning a new one. And he's trying to make every pentacle better than the last one. Scorpio, this could be you working really hard. Or working hard on yourself. Make yourself better. This kid, I just want to let you know, this kid's got his nose to the grindstone that he works so hard. He's kind of oblivious of what's going on around him. And I'm kind of thinking, Scorpio, that if you're feeling this way, maybe you're working really hard to try to forget this or escape it in some way. Scorpio, maybe you are working on yourself and that, like, emotionally and tempering your emotions. Working on that. Maybe to muster up the, the strength to leave a situation behind. Because it's, it's too turbulent. And Scorpio, I don't think that, you know, you're getting the answers or at least not getting the truth from dealing with someone like this. And yeah, it's emotionally draining. Especially if you feel like it's a no-win situation. Now, Scorpio, in your hopes and fears, get the King of Swords here. Again, the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone taking on these properties. Now, here you are. You got a couple here. You get a couple here that rule the realm together because they think alike. They have the same outlook. They're both extremely intelligent. Both of them not putting emotions in the equation. Scorpio, maybe you've been like this for a while, having these intelligent wars. Or non-emotional wars, just flat-out nasty fights and arguments and emotionally, because somebody doesn't think of the emotions. He doesn't take his own in consideration, he doesn't take anybody else's in, and you are emotional. Trying not to be. But this is in your hopes and your fears. So Scorpio, that could go either way. Whether you're hoping that you can leave a situation behind and end this cycle with this person. Or you're fearing it's just going to keep on going. Scorpio, I think you're going to put an end to this. I think you are working hard on yourself to bring yourself to this point where you're just going to tell it like it is, flat out. That it ain't cutting it anymore. This behavior, this stuff that you've been putting up with, you're done. You're done. Because, Scorpio, your outcome card is the world. And this is a cycle ending in a brand new one starting. Scorpio, I think that you are going to close this out. Because you're ready to. It might have taken a lot of work and diligency 
for you to think about this and get your emotions together. But you know what? You're done. You've had it. And when other people see it like this, oh, you've had it. That's the end of this, Scorpio. Close out the cycle so you can have a brand new one with new opportunities. Whoa. So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, and sharing to my channel. And I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.